one of the things that we love to uh, touch on is uh, the draft day, baby. And you were uh, you were drafted in one of the most legendary drafts of the entire NBA's history. Can you tell us a little bit about what you were doing on draft day and uh, and whether or not you knew you were going to get uh, selected where you did? And I mean, the eighties the eighties was a whole lot different than uh, than anything we know about. Obviously, we were talking to um, our guy. Uh, Shannon Sharp about getting drafted in the eighties, man, and it's it's night and day different. He said he got no a, cell phone, no exactly. Nothing. <laughs> ironically, as my phone goes off. So, so I actually, I actually got shocked. So, I was about three hundred pounds in college. I think most people know that. Yeah, I was between two, around two ninety five, basically. So the Sixers had bought, the Sixers had bought me in for a visit. And the owner says, hey, everybody's concerned about your weight. And it was like, I think I had like six weeks before the draft. He says, we want to draft you, but but we're concerned about your weight. He says, we want you to go. I want you to stop back here the day before the draft before we went to New York. We want you to weigh 285. And, uh. I said, okay. So I get down about 285, 83, somewhere in there. And then my agent says to me, now, Chuck, you know if the 76ers take you, they can only give you $75,000. I said, what? They're like, they have a hard cap in the NBA. So if you get drafted by the Sixers, you're going to have to play your first year for $75,000. Oh, my gosh. Shit, I didn't leave college for $75,000. I could have. Got that much in college. <laughs> <laughs> so we we got about three days before I had to go back to Philly. I said, well, I don't want the Sixers to draft me. He says, what do you want to do? So he says, we went on an Eden binge. No way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we went to like dinners in the morning. You know, to get to Grand Slam breakfast and everything. Yeah. All three days. All three days. Yeah. I stop in Philly. I weigh 298. No. I gained like all that no weight. Way, I told you. Man. I was 283. I got yeah. like 299 right in there. And the owner called me every name in the book. Blah, 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 blah. I said, I can't believe you fat ass. Blah, blah, blah. And because the only person who knew this was me and my agent. No way. That's and, uh, amazing. He curses me up and down. I leave, and I'm thinking, like, woo, we dodged a bullet. And if you go back and look at that tape, there's this look on my face when they said, with the fifth overall pick in the draft, the Philadelphia 76 select Charles Barkley out of Auburn. <laughs> I got this look <laughs> on my face, like, what the? How did this happen? So backfired. It did back- everything I could not yeah. to get drafted. So, they still yeah. drafted me. <laughs> we go down to Philly. They end up trading uh, two players. So my first contract ended up being four years, two million dollars. But I tried to eat my way out of Philadelphia. <laughs> True story. That's amazing. Yeah. That is so crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> 